ask you to tell me about the most important part of yourself, what would you say? Your nose? Your face? Your backside? <laughs> Many of us would likely choose something on the outside of our bodies. And I would have done the same a few years ago myself. But now I know I have one most important part. Ding! My mind. According to save.org, there is one death every 12 minutes due to suicide in the U.S. alone. It's time to take a stand because 80 to 90 percent of people who are suffering from depression but seek treatment are successfully treated. For me, it was the people around me who encouraged me to seek help through counseling when I was facing some of my darkest moments. Through the prose, Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson, woven with the articles Are You Your Own Worst Enemy by Robert Lee, and How to Stop Being Your Own Worst Enemy by Jessica Groom, we will see that it's important to remember that your mind matters. Have you ever had the thought, there is no way I can do this? Or, I am such a freaking idiot! These are all thoughts that have come from your own mind. But you can do it, and you are not a freaking idiot. And even if you are, you're normal. It is life. Another normal part of life for 19 million people is depression. It's that feeling that you'll never be right again, and you're so tired from fighting that you start to listen to all the little lies your brain tells you, the ones that say, or a drain on your family, you know, maybe, if you were better or stronger, this wouldn't be happening to you. It is all in your head. It's so easy to forget that I've been here before and come out on the other side. I used to feel a lot of guilt about having depression, but then I realized that's a lot like feeling guilty for having brown hair. It's unrealistic, but it's normal. Uh, I felt the same when Smokey the Bear was all, only you can prevent forest fires. Only me? That really seems like it should be more of a team effort kind of thing. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make any sense because aren't some forest fires started by lightning? Because I can't stop lightning, bears. I'm not God. I can't stop lightning or swamp gas or spontaneous combustion. <laughs> or depression. These are all things that just happen, and they shouldn't be blamed on me, so stop blaming the victims. We so often take the time to look after our bodies, but how often do you do something for your mind? We bombard ourselves with information overload, social media, emails, it never stops. We never make time for time. My anxiety and depression were so extreme that I couldn't really keep them much of a secret. But what I got back in return for being honest about my struggle was an enormous wave of voices saying, you aren't alone. And we always knew you were crazy. But we're still here and we're proud of you. And louder than all of that, were the voices that became stronger every day from thousands and thousands of people creeping to the edge and quietly admitting, me too. I thought it was just me. I have a folder that's labeled the folder of 24. Inside it are letters from 24 people who were actively in the process of planning their own suicide he stopped and got help because, well, me too. So what 
can you do right now to start treasuring your mind? Number one, identify your negative thoughts. They may be so automatic that you don't even notice them. And number two, replace self-criticism with self-reward. Just give yourself some credit. And number three, do you really need to evaluate yourself? No! Focus on your specific goals without criticizing. One of my favorite quotes is this. All the darkness in the world cannot extinguish the light of a single candle. Your mind is that candle, and it's up to you to keep it lit.